Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to a brand new video. So I am putting the milk room together, and Brent is out running the cleaner. And then he's going to put a bale on, and I'm going to go around with that. I've got to put some milk on for a calf. And I'm also going to be feeding um, one of these hydroponic trays to a cow today. What I'm going to be doing today is I'm just going to take this one, and I'm going to split it in half, and then I'm going to feed each half to two of the fresh cows. So I'll show you guys how they enjoy that. I also wanted to show you guys, like, this is oats, and it's a day older than this barley. Look, it's not even growing in this one spot. Oats is just, like, so much better. For us, anyway, it works so much better. Because um, these ones are oats, and these ones are oats. Um, but that one barley, you can just tell it looks so much less healthy than everything else. So I will be feeding them that. And then we'll see what craziness we're going to be getting into today. Hmm. So I'm gonna make some more of that. So we just have a couple of these on hand at all time. It's the concentrate, the gill utter wash, low iodine, low acid iodine concentrate. And what I do is I just pour in a little bit of that, more than it says to, because they say to mix it really weak. And I think you need a little more than that, so. And then I like to fill it with warm water, because I feel like cold water. This wouldn't feel good. Got there, so remember to take it out. Also, I have to fill a baby's bottle. So we do have another calf to feed. So I got some colostrum here. Alright, so we got the bale on and we're ready to go around with that. So I'll head around real quick. That's second crop as well. We've been feeding a lot of second crop um, just because we have a lot of fresh cows and we are trying to boost them up a little bit. Some of you guys have been asking like when we start milking because it's a little bright out. And I think the only reason it's bright is because my camera does weird things to the light. There is a light outside um, on a telephone pole that lights up the yard. And that kind of makes it look a little different. But I think my camera makes the glare from the windows look like it's actually lighter than it is. It's just about a quarter of six right now. Usually we start milking at six. So I've got to head around with this, feed the calf, then we'll have a coffee break, and then we will get into the rest of our video. So like I said, I'm going to be feeding some of that hydroponic feed, so I've just got a bucket here. So I just pick it apart like that, which is kind of time consuming, but it works for now. And then we got our pretty heavy bucket of hydroponic feed. Um, by the time I'm done doing that, that milk will probably be ready. So hand feed her unless I want the other cows to get it. You good? So there was one thing I wanted to show you guys before I started feeding that calf. Um, I found the strangest thing in a hay bale the other day and I had to show you guys because it's just it's so weird you'll never guess what it is so like why and how and really it didn't rough it up that much I mean I must have mowed over it and then bailed it up Brent probably raked it, and it still doesn't look that bad. I mean, the propellers are a little sad, but the whole thing made it through pretty good. But I just don't understand why somebody would have this out there. Some poor child lost their helicopter, but... Yeah, so that probably tops the list of the strangest things that I've ever found in a hay bale. So I just had to show you guys that. And I've been saving it for days to show you guys, so now I can finally throw it away. Good morning. Good morning. I got the coffee. Coffee. Good man. Thank you. So this is the lovely little baby. She is the cutest Hereford I think I've ever seen. She's just adorable. Um, she would be uh, like a weird cross. She's mostly, she's like almost half Jersey and half Hereford with a tiny, tiny bit of brown Swiss.
Not gonna lie, I'm very tempted to take her home. not love cows. Look at that little face. Just so cute. All you want to do is snuggle her. <laughs> milking we fed the girls their second pail and they're munching on that right now but before we bed them there are two cows we have to dry off so I've got our dry cow treatment right here some alcohol wipes and some leg bands so we know they're treated so Brent said some of these are dry clocks and some of these are tomorrow so I got to match them up give them to separate cows here so each cow is treated with the same thing all right so four of those four of those. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take these alcohol prep pads and I'm just going to blot the end of their teat with them just so there's no bacteria on there. So I'm going to use this stuff on this one right here. I'm trying to figure out a good angle so I can show you guys what I'm doing here. Alright, so what I usually do is I'm going to go in with all these prep pads first and I only have three so I'm going to use one on two of her teeth. Kind of plug the end of her teeth like that. Alright. Now, I usually put all of these in my pocket just so I have them right handy. Um, I always pop off the cover with my teeth like that. And I don't know why I put it in there because I'm throwing away. I mean, I usually do the front one farthest away from me and then the back one farthest away from me. And then the front one closest to me and the back one closest to me. Um, so you're going to strip out anything that's in them. And then just kind of hold their teeth so the teeth canal is open. Put that syringe in and then press it in. And then you're going to want to just massage their udder a little bit. Just to make that penicillin go up in there good. all of them and then I massage them. Now we'll put a leg band on her. There, all done. So this next one is actually our other three-titted cow. So we only need three of those, so I'll put one of these back. 
And my other leg band isn't as good, it's just a Velcro one, but it'll have to do because we've used all our good ones. There, so that's how we dry off cows, and I just wanted to show you guys that. Okay, so the girls are all bedded, they're eating, and we're gonna leave them alone. So what we're gonna be doing today is the electric motor that runs the vacuum pump has been making a really strange noise when it starts. It sounds like it's having a hard time starting. It's just like dragging a lot. So Brent said that the capacitors in it probably do need to be changed. I guess it's just like a battery that starts an electric motor. Basically just helps it start going. Those are going on it and we don't want them to go completely some morning when we go to start it or some night or something. So Brent has an extra that he's going to switch it with. So we're going to switch that today and then Probably tomorrow or the next day we're going to take that motor and get the capacitors looked at and just make sure everything's good on that. So we are going to be changing those out today, so I will take you into the milk room and have Brent explain the rest of it to you because he knows much more than I do about that. So. What you thinking? I'm just thinking, I want to know how far that is, so the other motor. So in the middle of that shaft, to where it butts up a bit, is that... 10 inches. I'm gonna go measure that. Okay. It's foggy in here because I just washed the floor so it's a little wet in here. So, sorry about that. Yeah, I left that up. They won't GE. Three times that heavy. Literally twice as heavy. There's one that's on it? Yeah. Okay. When was the last time this was off? Oh, God. 10 years ago, maybe, maybe more. The other motor worked okay, but it got warm and shut down. And that's not good to have it shut down. This one? No, the, the one out in the, out in the shop. Yeah, that gray one, that's yes. like five horse. So it's no good? Or? Well, you can use it on something that doesn't have to run continually. You could use it on the brand cleaner. Because huh. you only run at a certain time, then you shut it off. Yeah. Running steady like this, it would get warm in the summer and shut off. Well, that's not good. That's not good for milking. This electric motor is probably 60 years old or more. Yes. It was on the hay elevator when I was just a little, little boy. <sighs> and who knows how long before then. Right. Plug that into there. Okay. Go ahead and turn it on a second. Um, okay. <laughs> should, go, should turn her toward you. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's right. So I guess it is turning the right direction. So now we're just gonna have to undo this and Brent has all the tools here that he thinks we're gonna need ready and he already did put some WD-40 on the bolts so they should loosen good. The only difference between these two motors, I guess, is this is a seven and a half horsepower and that one is a five, I think he said. So, but they're the same RPM so it should be fine. So what do you, you need me to do? Just hold these? These, these four are gonna come out. The base stays. Okay. So. Can you put your other one? Yeah. Okay. One. one. You can probably get to it right through here. Right, Where? right through there. Let me see it light a second. Here. That was as fun as a headache. <sighs> Alright. Put my belts off. There's one. There's two. Okay, now it'll simply lift off. What do you want to do with it? Right down here. Okay. This is interesting. You just hold up on that. Okay, okay ready? Wow. This one hit me over. Yep. Why don't you, hey. Test me that roll. Sure, it's only 60 years old. It's like a thousand years old. What are you going to do? Drag it? Drag it off. <laughs> That's good for it. Come on, get up, get up. You sure you don't want me to lift it up? No. Well. That seems hard on the floor. But. Yeah, and then you'll probably have to let these back. Maybe not. Maybe it'll... So was this vacuum pump installed when you did the... Um, when you read it, the whole unit and like whatever, 90? No, no, this is original. It's been here for. Holy, that's original? Boom at it. That's like a 60s? Oh, yeah. Man. When the 
It's probably 1963 because the place burned in 63. So did you lose everything when it burned? Yeah, in the milk room. Everything? Yeah. What kind of tank did you have before this one? We had another, we had a zero. Oh, you did? Just smaller one? Small. This is, this is 1,500 gallons. So? We don't have to move the front. Oh, wait a minute, we'll do it. Yeah, we do because it's it's right up against it. We have to loosen the. Let's take it off again. Loosen the base. Okay, so we are getting there. Uh, we have it down here now because we couldn't get this moved ahead far enough. So what we're going to do is instead we're going to move the base ahead so that it drags this motor ahead on that base a little bit. So I had to loosen these here and move the nuts back on the um, bolt underneath so that it could slide ahead. So Brent is just out there getting some new bolts so that we won't have such a hard time unhooking this when we have to put the big one back on. So I have one more of the motor mount bolts to loosen and then hopefully this will go a little bit easier. Mm. I think it's all right. You okay. You yeah. ready? Yeah. Okay, so we got it all on there, all hooked up, and we tested it out. You guys heard that. It's much quieter than the other one was. We did get the other one loaded into the back of Brent's truck, so he has an appointment for that in a couple days, I think, so he can take that right over and he doesn't have to worry about loading it or anything. Um, so this one right here is the new one. Uh, well, new is a relative term. It's old, too. But Brent made sure that he had it um, exactly the same, so it was all ready to put on. We just had to adjust the base and stuff so that the belts would be taut. Everything's good. Works great. Um... So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe, comment down below, and hit that notification bell so you know when any new videos are being posted. Keep it real, keep farming. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.